Well, a big story is developing in the Middle East. Israel has confirmed that Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar is dead, killed during a heavy gun battle in Gaza. The secretive figure was the chief architect of the October 7th massacre. The question now, is this a window of opportunity for a possible end to the fighting? CTV's Heather Wright was in the Middle East last week, and Heather, a lot to cover today. Sandy Yahya Sinwar had been Israel's top target for the last year, the architect of October 7th and the leader of Hamas. And while Israel's prime minister celebrated Sinwar's death today, he stopped short of declaring a total victory. For more than a year, Yahya Sinwar eluded Israeli forces, said to be hiding in Gaza's expansive tunnels and among the civilian population. After a firefight yesterday with Hamas forces in southern Gaza, Israeli soldiers retrieved a body that appeared to be Sinwar. Today, Israel confirmed his identity using dental records and fingerprints. I think by killing this, this leader, it has now satisfied a lot of political imperatives. It will ameliorate some of the tactical stuff at the, at the bottom end and allow uh, the prime minister to have serious negotiations to get those 100 plus hostages back. Today, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu pledged to keep working to bring the remaining hostages home, something he has been criticized by hostage family members for not prioritizing. This is a critical, time sensitive development as it relates to the hostages. Their lives are in great danger now more than ever. And while Sinwar's death may indeed speed up negotiations for a truce, some in Gaza are less optimistic. They targeted many leaders before, Vasim Akra says. Someone will follow Sinwar and Hamas will continue. This won't stop the resistance, Tibet Amur says. Palestinians will continue to resist until we have self-determination. Sinwar's death marks another tactical blow for Iran with its two main proxies, Hamas in Gaza and Hezbollah in Lebanon, now significantly degraded. And while there are no new ceasefire talks planned, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken did speak with Qatar's prime minister today, Qatar being the main mediator in those truce negotiations. Sandy. All right, CTV's Heather Wright.